Hello and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Aileen Senpai. I'm a streamer on Twitch, an amateur singer, and a lover of all kinds of music. Now, I know it's been some time since we've listened to Korn, and I promise not to take so long of a break, but I've been getting this song requested so very much, and it's called Falling Away From Me. I know it's been a while, but I'm excited to dive back into Korn as I feel like their sound is absolutely incredible, so unique, and Jonathan's voice just gives me so much life. Uh, but before I press play, if you do enjoy my content, please be sure to leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss another video ever again. With that being said, let's get started with today's video. Okay, um, I was not expecting that. Um, I know uh, Jonathan has talked a lot about how he has had um, some horrible issues with his childhood. I don't know if this was part of it or if this was maybe someone else in the band or if they were just talking about, um, you know, domestic abuse or, or child abuse in general. Um, but that line where he was saying, like, I, I believe it was something about, like, toying with the idea of suicide or suicidal idealiza uh, idealization because of, uh, you know, when you're in those feelings, you feel like, you know, it's, 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 it fucking sucks and you're never going to get out of it. And unfortunately, I've, you know, had to feel this way. And it's, it's shitty. And as children, they kind of feel like they're to blame or maybe they're unwanted or there's something wrong with them. And that's the reason why these people who are supposed to be their role models are supposed to nurture and love them the most kind of turn a blind eye or give them childhood trauma. And it's, it's such a fucked up thing. And it's never your fault. But Jesus, fuck, I'm was not expecting that at all, especially with the beginning of the cartoon. It kind of reminded me of um, Freak on a Leash a little bit. Um, very, very similar. But Jesus, okay. Um, yeah, it's going to get fucking real. Um, oh, oh. I, I, just, I just have to be ready. I just have to be ready. There's really literally nothing else I can do about it. Um, but let's just dive in. I'm going to go back a bit so we don't fuck up anything. Uh, I, I'm also sorry if I'm cussing so much. Um, this is just... A lot of things I did not know I was going to start feeling right now. So, yeah, let's just continue.
is falling away from me. It's falling away from me. Less falling away from me. Well, <laughs> definitely a fucking uh, a turn of events. Um, absolutely a lot of shit to unpack here. Uh, but yeah, let's just take this a little bit further. I truly commend Korn for saying the shit people don't want to hear. Or, you know, people will always say, we shouldn't be talking about these things in mainstream media. It's going to poison our kids or idealize suicide or, you know, whatever the hell they may say. But I feel like it's the lack of that representation that makes people feel alone and seek solace into things that might not be good for them or hurt themselves. And it's something that is ugly. It's the ugly truth. And we have to stop shoving it under the rug. And I know that Jonathan has been incredibly vocal about the issues that he has had with his childhood, as we have seen in Daddy. And that was an incredibly gut-wrenching song to listen to. And I feel like, you know, people who probably watched this probably felt like they got their power back. You know, I feel like when you're a kid and this happens to you, I, I felt like that for so long that if I got hit and, and yelled at it, it's because I was a bad kid or maybe there was something wrong with me and I was the issue when you don't realize that these people are supposed to be your caretakers and not people that are going to, you know, fuck you up for the rest of your life. Um, so it's really hard to get out of that mindset and feel like you're not a fuck up. You're not, you're not unwanted and you're not unloved. Um, but I feel like that scene when the young girl was looking inside of the, it looked like a music box or a, a little treasure box that she was holding in her hand. And she was using it to kind of like seek comfort and solace because she was walking around eggshell scared of her father for, you know, waking him up or whatever, disturbing his sleep. And uh, when they came into her bedroom and all those kids were chanting, uh, all the kids that were feeling alone and scared were out in the street chanting to them because they got their power back. And they realized that, you know, they have someone that can stand up to their kids because kids are so incredibly helpless. And to hurt a child like that is just, it's just grotesque. It's, it's it, there there is absolutely no excuse for it whatsoever um they are incredibly helpless they don't know what's going on and we just sh honestly just shouldn't even treat people like that in general that scene alone when they were taking back the power it really you know i feel like a lot of people probably saw that and maybe it healed their inner child and made them not feel so alone and made them feel like you know what yeah i didn't deserve that so i'm really really glad and i respect them so much for putting this content out there as gut-wrenching and as incredibly hard as it must be for them because even in Shoots and Ladders, you see the double side of these children's songs that we sang as kids, seeing the real meaning behind it and realizing like, wow, we just sugarcoat a lot of shit because we, it's easier to swallow that pill. But, you know, we got to see the ugly side of it. We got to see the truth in order for people to not feel alone and for, you know, people in general to just proceed and move on with their lives. Um, but wow, again, another incredible song by Korn. I, they, they truly just never feel to amaze me i'm just you know I, i'm just in complete awe have so much respect and adoration for them and i cannot wait to continue to dive through this corn journey with you all uh please let me know what other corn songs you would like me to hear i cannot wait to dive in with you guys but if you did enjoy this video please let me know what you thought in the comments below and as always please be sure to leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss my reactions ever again i'll be back tomorrow with some more reactions but if you do want to hang out with me i also live stream on twitch every monday thursday 
Friday and Saturday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Love to get to know you, have you on there, and uh, just get to know you and, and listen to music together. But other than that, I'll see you tomorrow. Please take care of yourself. Remember, you are loved, and I cannot wait to listen to more music. But yes, take care of yourself, and remember, I love you so much. Bye.